Your kids are grown now. I know. Do you guys remember when I was pregnant with Milo? Yeah. Yes. He's 22 and just graduated from college last oh year. My oh my goodness. Time just does not stop. I know. And Owen, the one who I had, I gave birth to him in my bathtub in my documentary, he's going to be 18 in two weeks. That's ridiculous. I know. I'm 50. Oh my goodness. I'm 50. Well, 50 ain't what it used to be. 50 ain't what, what is it, it used the new to be. 30? What 50 is it? 50 is the new 30. It yeah. is. And life really takes off. For men, it takes off when they're 40. But for women, once the kids are out of the house and, you know, you can meet uh, people who are light workers. And, uh, you know, it's really good. Turning you on day and night. Do you, yeah. miss, do you miss doing the talk show? Because, you know, we have you to thank for. Um, talk to the hand, Ricky. Mm -hmm. Talk to the hand. Lose the zero. Get yourself a hero. <laughs> Michelle was, Michelle was on my show back in the day. There's a bunch of your staff people that work for me. It's, yeah. We're all related. It's very incestuous. It? Not for one second. No. no. <laughs> Why not? No. I, it's just, I did it. I yeah. did it. And I did it at a time when social media didn't really exist, which I appreciate the immediacy yeah. of the people responding in real time. Yeah. I, it was just a different time. How and long I, did you do the first I, show? 11 years. 11 years. And I years. stopped it. I mean, I, I finished my contract. I can't say I quit. But after 9-11, which I witnessed firsthand living downtown in Manhattan and having to go back to work two days after I watched a plane hit the building firsthand, mm. I had to go back. My hoochie mama thinks yeah. I'm a baby daddy. And I was like... This is not what I want right. my legacy to be. Right. And I love my show. Like, yeah. let me just say, I am so proud and grateful. It was an amazing platform that I now realize I was supposed to have that mainstream platform to be able to do these projects now and kind of deliver them to an audience that really trusts me and relates mm -hmm. to me. So it's, I, I couldn't do one without the other. Yeah. But it's like a different... It's just, it's just not me I, I, at this time in my life. I yeah. mean, but then again, never say never. You know, when an opportunity yeah. comes up, I mean, I'm good at it. Yes, I'm you really are. good at you it. You certainly are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, do you have any advice for someone who, who's starting out? Well, with you're the talk really, show? I mean, I have to say, you've always been so. I mean, you're just so one in a million, and, and you're a really good listener. Like, my, for me, the best advice I can give is, like, be, listen. Don't really think ahead to, like, the joke or what's coming. It's really being engaged in the conversation, and you're, 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 you're doing it. I do love talking to yeah. people. Mm -hmm. I always have. I loved being on your show all those years ago. It was so fun because the audience made it. It made it like a party. It was a party. And it was like, I mean, at, at the, <clears throat> in the heyday, there was like a year wait list to get tickets to our yeah, show. Yeah. It was like the show, it was like Letterman and our show were the things to come and yeah. do in New York. It was amazing. <clears throat> it was, and the fact that they gave it to me at 24 years of age, I, I had a lot of nerve, like giving advice. I didn't even know who I was. I had my name on the rug, and yet I didn't know who I was, <laughs> you know? And it's really, it's really um, in my 40s where I finally found my voice and what I'm passionate about. And it's really about em empowering women about their bodies. <clears throat> and informed choice, and um, yeah, so it's 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 been an amazing journey, and I, I love I love what I get to do.